The team's finest hour in recent memory was the expert modeling, a body of work on the economics of TB. We've always had a TB epidemic in South Africa. One in 100 people in South Africa has TB. We've been using x-rays and smear microscopy for decades to diagnose TB. Our patients, they will have their sputum taken for culture, which was taking six to eight weeks. That time resulted in a lot of patients not coming back and a lot of people dying because the disease process was continuing but they couldn't get results on time. So we needed a new diagnostic and happily through uh, the International Consortium led by the WHO we have this gene expert technology. What used to be a huge lab has been sized down into a cartridge. It gives you far greater sensitivity and specificity compared to uh, microscopy and it reduces the time of diagnosis from weeks to two hours. Otherwise a patient who will otherwise have died can be saved because they will get treatment same day. However, we had to figure out whether this is feasible for in our country, um, in a middle income country. One of the key successes of HERO has been to take all the published literature plus our own experiences from here the Tembeletu Clinic in Johannesburg and combine those to cost that out. We persuaded the Treasury to increase the amount of funding for a TB diagnosis. Their work around the gene expert costing has been uh, a tremendous benefit to the rollout of gene expert machines for the testing of, of tuberculosis across the country. We're very excited about this piece of work and are now working on the implementation side with the National Health Laboratory Services to roll out the training and implementation of gene expert across the country.